Today, I'm going to show you how to create an easy homemade butterbeer ice cream. The things we'll need to create our homemade butterbeer ice cream is two cups of heavy whipping cream, one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk, a quarter cup of instant butterscotch pudding mix, a third of a cup of good quality butterscotch sauce, but you could also make your own sauce. I'll put a recipe down below in case you want to make your own. One teaspoon of vanilla extract, and I try to make sure that my vanilla extract is of really good quality. Um, so either go with an organic nice one, or I prefer mine from Mexico. We're going to use a quarter teaspoon of rum extract, as well as a quarter teaspoon of butter extract. We're going to do an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. And then we're going to need a container to put our ice cream in. So I am using a glass loaf pan and they're gonna to wanna to cover your ice cream with plastic wrap. You're also gonna to wanna to use either a stand mixer like I'm using my KitchenAid or a hand mixer. And it's really important to put the bowl and your whisk in the fridge so that it helps everything get whipped and fluffed even quicker just because it'll be cold like the ingredients. And I also put my sweetened condensed milk in the fridge as well just so it helps everything combine a little bit easier. And then we're going to use either a butter knife or a frosting palette knife for us to swirl our butterscotch sauce into our ice cream. Let's get started. Okay, so I have pulled my chilled bowl out of the fridge as well as my chilled whisk. And we're gonna whisk our heavy whipping cream until we get stiff peaks. And as you can see, we have really great whipped cream. Okay, so we are going to pull this out of our beater. And now we're gonna sweeten it up. So we're gonna do that with our cold sweetened condensed milk. Then we're going to add our pudding mix. Our butterscotch sauce. Our salt and our extracts. And now we can close this back up and we're just going to blend it until everything is nicely combined. I'm going to scrape down the sides. Okay, and I think that's good. We don't want to overmix it. You just want to mix it enough that everything is combined and that it's nice and fluffy. At this point, I recommend that you take a taste of your base mix here just to make sure you don't want it to be any sweeter and that you don't want to add any other elements to our mix. And I think that has a really great butterscotchy shortbread cookie vibe to it. And it's going to get even sweeter when we swirl some of our butterscotch sauce into the base before we freeze it. So at this point, I'm going to get my glass container over here and we're gonna to start to fill it up and add our butterscotch drizzle. Okay, so we have our ice cream base here and we're going to put about half of it 
in here. We're gonna swirl some of the butterscotch sauce, put the other half in and swirl some more, just so we have the butterscotch sauce through all of it instead of just on top. Okay, so at this point I'm gonna smooth this out and then I'm gonna swirl some of my butterscotch in and we're gonna smooth it out again and cover it with our plastic wrap. Okay, so now that my ice cream is wrapped nicely with our plastic wrap, I'm gonna throw this in the freezer. You want it to freeze for a minimum of six hours, but overnight is preferable. And then I'm gonna come back and reveal our ice cream. Okay, so I left my ice cream sit overnight and we're gonna go ahead and unwrap this. To reveal our yummy, easy butter beer ice cream. So I'm just going to take a scoop here. And as you can see, we got these really great butterscotch swirls in our ice cream that just gives us really rich quality to it. Okay, so we have our really yummy ice cream and I like to either top mine off with some shortbread cookie. And I really love the Walker's brand of shortbread cookies. Or you could use a praline stick. Both are delicious to add on to our ice cream and they both look really cute. Another thing I love to do with my ice cream is to make butterbeer floats. So all I do is add a little bit of my ice cream to my mug and then add some cream soda. And there we have a yummy butterbeer float. And there you have it, our butterbeer ice cream. Super easy to make, delicious, and tastes just like it's out of the park. This would be a great addition to a party or a Harry Potter movie night. If you guys like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.